Understanding Electoral Fraud, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very important topic in political and social discussions, electoral fraud. Understanding this term is not just about expanding your vocabulary but also about gaining insights into current global issues. Let's dive into it. Electoral fraud refers to illegal interference with the process of an election. It's a broad term that encompasses various acts such as tampering with voting machines, vote rigging, or ballot stuffing. These actions are taken to manipulate election results, often favoring a particular candidate or party. In this section, we'll look at some common examples of electoral fraud. Vote rigging. This involves altering the vote count to favor a specific candidate. Ballot stuffing. Here, extra ballots are illegally added to the vote count. Voter intimidation. This is when voters are threatened or coerced to vote a certain way. Each of these examples highlights different ways electoral fraud can be perpetrated. The impact of electoral fraud is significant. It not only undermines the democratic process but also erodes public trust in the political system. When elections are not free and fair, the legitimacy of the elected officials is questionable leading to political instability and social unrest. It's crucial to recognize signs of electoral fraud, such as unexplained delays in announcing results or discrepancies in vote counts. Preventing electoral fraud involves strict law enforcement, transparent electoral processes, and public awareness. Vigilance and active participation by citizens play a key role in safeguarding democracy. Thank you for joining us in exploring the concept of electoral fraud. It's a critical topic in understanding how democracies function and the importance of fair and free elections. Remember, a healthy democracy relies on informed and active citizens. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in your English learning journey. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.